there are many types of gears such as super gears, helical gears, worm gears, etc. This can be generally classified by looking at the positions of excess such as parallel shafts, intersecting shafts and non-intersecting shafts. In this video, we will learn about different types of gears used to transmit power from one shaft to another shaft. Please click the subscribe button for more videos and press the bell icon get fast notifications. Super gear Parallel and co-parallel shafts connected by gears are called super gears. Super gears have stained teeth and are parallel to excess of the wheel. Super gears are the most common type of gears. The advantages of super gears are their simplicity in design, economy of manufacturer and maintenance. Super gears are known as slow speed gears. If noise is not a serious design problem, super gears can be used at almost any speed. Helical gear. Helical or dry fixed gears offer a refinement over super gears. The leading edges of the teeth are not parallel to the axis of rotation, but are set at an angle. Since the gear is curved, this angling makes the tooth shape a segment of a helix. Helical gears can be meshed in parallel or coarse orientations. Hearing bone gear. Hearing bone gears resemble to helical gears that have been placed side by side. They are often referred to as double helicals. In the double helical gears arrangement, the thrusts are counterbalanced. In such double helical gears, there is no thrust loading on the bearing. Bevel gear Bevel gears are gear where the excess of the two shafts intersecting and the tooth bearing face of the gear themselves are conically shaped. Bevel gear are most often mounted on shafts that are 90 degrees apart, but can be designed to work at other angles as well. The piece surface of bevel gears is a cone. Worm gear. Worm gears are used to transmit power at 90 degree and where high deduction are required. The excess of worm gears shafts cross in space. The shafts of worm gears lie in parallel panels and may be skewed at any angle between zero and right angle. In worm gears, one gear has screw threads. Due to this, worm gears are quick, vibration free and give a smooth output. Worm gears and worm gear shafts are almost invariably a right angles. Rack and pinion gear. A rack is a tooth bar or rod that can be thought of as sector gear with an infinitely large radius of curvature. Torque can be converted to linear force by meshing a rack with a pinion. The pinion turns, the rack moves in a strength line. Such a mechanism is used in automobiles to convert the rotation of the string wheel into the left to right motion of the tie rods. Internal gear Internal gear is a gear with its teeth cut in the internal surface of a cylinder and meshed with super gears. In its manufacturing, because of its shape, the usual hobbing machine used in super gear production cannot be used. Dear viewers, thanks for watching the video. Any question, write in the comment box. Don't forget to like and share. More update, please subscribe our channel Learning Engineering and get notification to press the bell icon.